Oh wow, you've dropped out? Yes, yes, I dropped out actually. What is the reason for dropping out? That's interesting. 14 hours a day I was coding, I was building projects. I... 1920 now, you were in your second year. Yeah, I'm 19 right now. Uh, by the way, I met you before. Like in Bangalore only and I told you the same question that said can I drop out because I just did me that no like you should not but I joined a BCA course uh, in an online university but I'm planning to drop out from that also because I quickly crashed to the Dukan head of headquarters this is in Bangalore without informing anyone so started that and showed that okay sir I have built this mm. and he suddenly he was like what are you doing now? I said nothing sir I'm just doing freelancing stuff and all so like okay join Dukan Kitna salary Kitna loge bhaiya and that to him and after 10 minutes I got my slack email and all already for the next 3.5 months I wasn't uh, going to my classes around every time putting my 14 to 16 hours every night I used to be uh, like I, I used to be not sleeping and working on the thing it was like a I, I, I have zero product idea that what should I build like before six months I had a breakup so I thought okay I'm gonna be building the next Facebook oh boy so hi everyone, welcome to a new pod. Today we have Biswaroop who's joined Dukan as an intern. He'll be going through his journey, understanding how he got the internship offer, what is his tech stack like, what was the interview process, all that jazz. Without any further ado, Biswaroop, welcome to the pod. Yeah, hello. Hi. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I'm also good, sir. Amazing. Amazing to have you here. Would love to have a brief introduction about yourself. Yes, sir. So like, uh, I'm from West Bengal uh, and Okay, I'm gonna start with my tech journey. So I was into robotics when I was like, uh, like in fifth or sixth standard. Wow. So I was doing kind of with Arduino and a little with sensors. But uh, like, uh, I didn't have a computer at that time. So I used to go to cyber cafes to program or uh, program my Arduino. It's it started like this. So kind of a very techy person. Not not really, but yeah. Uh, and later on, I was like kind of more interested in how to how like how to program more stuff, how to build software with that. So mm -hmm. properly from class 11th, I started into with Python and then after coming to college, like I, I was in VIT, I joined VIT in 2022 and then I was, then I started learning like front end and I started with HTML, CSS, then I uh, started uh, doing React and all. So that's how it all started. Yeah. My tech journey and yeah, that, and also like in my first year, I started a startup. It was like Algebra AI. So we were kind of uh, doing something finance stuff with AI integrations, but eventually we stopped that few months back. Yeah, so that's my kind of journey. Got it. So you were a nerd f during your college, sorry, before your college itself? No, 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 coding. not nerd. Like I was not very good at studies, not okay. like uh, like uh, like 80 percent guy, like the 80 percent scoring guy. But I was more into like building stuff. So I was like all time staying in my room, tinkering with hardwares, little, little programming it was like this yeah got it makes sense and you got into vit the main vit below branch. Yeah, yeah i was into the main campus which i dropped out recently like last month only i dropped out oh wow you've dropped out yes yes i dropped out actually what is the reason for dropping out that's interesting yeah so it was like i i had i had a personal uh, issue behind that but also like uh, i was more into like building stuff so even in my college because i had a startup i didn't had the term that you have to be attending classes for 75 percent Mm. For other like, uh, because I have the founder tag in the college, so that's why I had that thing. But anyways, I was like 14 hours a day, I was coding, I was building projects. I, I was not very going to classes. And then I around few bags, so I thought eventually I want to do something in practical world. So I, then I left the college. Amazing. Uh, so was your family in shock? How did you convince them? Yeah, it was like uh, my uh, parents are very, they're like very s simple parents, like they don't know a lot of things, uh, actually they know but they don't understand that what I'm doing right now. So eventually I told them, before even getting the job at Dukan, I told them that uh, I, I got an uh, offer from a company and eventually I was working as a freelancer, so I was earning quite well. Uh, so I, and then I told them that uh, I want to leave the college but it's not the thing which I want to do. So, so they eventually understood, okay, so let him do what he wants to do, that's it. Amazing, that's super yeah. cool. So are you doing an alt college, something like that now, online degree or? No, so basically after, like uh, the thing is like when I left uh, VIT, I like to convince my parents that, okay, I will be not in a very unsafe area. So I joined uh, doing, I joined a BCA course uh, mm -hmm. in an online university, but I'm 
planning to drop out from that also because I really don't have time to manage all. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Great man. Uh, let's get into your interview process. So you said you did a bunch of freelancing first. What yeah, was yeah. your first offer? So like, uh, let me start with the freelancing ones. So, like uh, yeah. from uh, first year only, like uh, I was building basic landing pages. And then on, I was like, because of my startup, I was, I got invitations from Google startup uh, hubs, like, uh, the, sorry, success days. So it was in Chennai, even uh, in the IIT Madras and then the T hub in Hyderabad. So mm -hmm. I went there and uh, then I met a few people. They wanted to make their idea into reality. So I told them, okay, I, I code. So uh, let's connect. So then uh, that guy, uh, he moved to US and then he wanted to build something like a LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. But. Uh, but more of a like hiring platform not other than a social media so i built that it was like for blue collar jobs in that area so i built the front end in react native and the back end in basic notes okay i started with hono even like i learned the hono thing from you only yeah nice. so uh, yeah so i did that and eventually after that i went to properly like web not in mobile apps so then I did a few more works and then last month I got a project it was around 1.5 lakh. So it's it's a service booking platform. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's like this. Got it. So a bunch of ad hoc jobs, some freelancing. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. Based. Very, very, yeah. yeah. Got it. And what about Dukan? Now tell me your story there. Yeah, so uh, to be honest, I didn't plan that I'm going to be joining Dukan. It was a like totally random meetup. Like uh, I just... Oh, love the story of Subhas sir. I, I guess yeah. So he's very famous in that era. Like, era like he was into proper server manage server managing, and he's very well versed with coding. So yep. I just wanted to meet him. So I directly crashed to the Dukan head headquarters. This is in Bangalore without informing anyone. So okay, I'm gonna t uh, give you a context. Like I was not a very social person. So even mm -hmm. uh, my Insta is deactivated. I don't have the account right now. So Instagram and all. And I was very shy kind of thing. But eventually my seniors told me you should be connecting with people because if you have the talent, if others, uh, do, they don't know that, then there is no way to get any job and like that. So, but, so I randomly crashed to the headquarters in Dukan. So the security guard did ask me to sit in the waiting lounge and I was not allowed to go to the main office, which is in the second floor. So that happened. But that day, the uh, security guard, he gave me the number of the HR of the Dukan. Okay. I, th I directly texted him at that time that, okay, I want to meet Subhas sir. Can I? He said, no. So I came back to my room. So uh, I posted about that. Uh, that's uh, I wanted to meet Subhas sir, but uh, I forgot that he's a very busy person. So he replied me in that tweet saying mm -hmm. that Monday, uh, so, uh, like I'm traveling Monday and question mark. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, okay, so it's a yes, I can meet him. So okay. then Monday when I went there, uh, st still the security guard like you came two, three days back, right? I was like, okay, yeah, 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 like sit, sit. So then he called uh, someone from the uh, team and they said, no, Subhas sir still didn't came to the office. So then I texted Subhas sir Twitter. He like, sir, uh, I'm at the office. So he, after 20 minutes, he replied, okay, I'm coming in 30 minutes. So I was waiting there. I was, yeah. So then he came and then we went to like, then, then I went to the like second floor of the office and then I was sitting somewhere. And then after 20 minutes, he called me in his cabin. So like, Dikha kya kya bana hai. he's like very chill, chill, okay. And before, go, like, uh, my Monday ko gaya tha unka office mein. And Sunday, I thought, like, okay, I have a free day. So, like, what do I build the Dukan ka jo whole system? Hai. Like, you uh, sign up, you have, you can choose a, you can put a name, you can add your products, and your shop is live. Right. Do seller buyer dono bana diya tha. Like, bahut basic say. Like, so, like, in the shop, it's like the just uh, my local host slash the URL, uh, sorry, the store name, it's a unique name. So, Either you have to see no other shop is in the same name, and uh, like when someone orders, so in the dashboard, you can see how many orders are. So like right. basic pretty stuff, which I built with the Node.js, uh, AWS S3, I have images, I have CloudFront, I have for the distributions. Pretty same, simple. So yeah. I built that, and I showed uh, show that in the next day that okay, sir, I have built this, and then he asked me what are the major projects we have built. So then like I, sh I then I saw like show that uh, that I had a I actually uh, before coming to Bangalore. I was building a big project for myself only. I will tell that after this. But yeah, I, I, it was kind of a social media thing. 
so then i uh, then i i just directly started that and show that okay sir i have built this mm. and he suddenly he was like what are you doing now i said nothing sir i'm just doing freelancing stuff and all so like okay join dukan kitna salary lega i was like i was like oh my god i was smiling i was looking at him and smiling i didn't uh, thought that this going to be happening but eventually i thought that okay he is a very smart guy and uh, in the longer run if i work in this environment it can be helpful for me because i'm coming from a startup background and in future my uh, like long end goal is to build something more Uh, in the in the in the product area so that's my main goal so i thought okay let's why not start working with the brilliant minds of our area so and at that time only i was sitting then then he said okay uh, just wait out at the office within 5 minutes so the hr called me and asked me for my aadhar and pan so i sent that to him and after 10 minutes i got my slack email and all already and then nice. again subhas sir called me to his cabin and he was like he, he then explained me what we are working on right now he just gave me the repo access i directly cloned that uh, and from that day only i started working in the office i stayed around till 8 pm in the office that day like i just wanted to meet him i went there at around 11 am uh, by 2 pm i was onboarded into the company and i worked for around 4 to 5 hours that day only and nice. that's it that's how i joined the company that is super cool that's super inspirational yes. in many ways number one you went out of your way to go to campus like to the yes. office sorry that's in yeah. itself is like very hard and then you had the right proof of work you know it's very easy to but still it's very hard to get an interview like kudos to you for getting an interview this way and kudos to subhash as well to you know being yeah. so open to interview yeah, someone yeah. like this and then you know you had the right projects it's very easy to you know get put off like this if someone just comes on campus and sorry on on your office and you know has no proof of work so this is great um, what are you doing right now so you you're now a four month intern in dukan for the next four months yes 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 got it what are your plans after that mm I uh, if I get the full time offer so obviously I will join full time but yeah that's my uh, I'm not very like I I haven't think that what what's my plan after the four months but I'm hoping that I will join a as a full time yeah amazing and you're I would assume nineteen twenty now you were in your second year yeah I'm nineteen right now fucking hey super cool man uh, I uh, I'm super curious to know do you think there are more people your age now who are open to doing this are you an outlier or do you think this is happening more often. Yeah, so most of the people they go for the security for the degree because eventually makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're saying you're an outlier. Not a lot of people are open to yeah, taking yeah, these yeah. many yeah, risks. Yeah, and yeah, exactly, reward. exactly. Makes sense. Now tell me this. Let's say this doesn't work out. Let's say you don't get a PPO. What is your plan in that case? Mm, eventually, uh, basically, uh, before even coming to Bangalore, mm-hmm. uh, I directly came without any thing planned. I just right. let's come here and let's see what i can do Got that's it. it so it's not very planned way so that i will do this but i hope that uh, i will get something even if i don't get the ppo from dukan yeah, but that's eventually awesome. the four month i'm going to be learning a lot of things cuz it's a pretty dope start of <laughs> working because dukan is i'm not uh, see dukan have like multiple verticals right now so right. most of the people in my team we are working on a uh, AI system like it's a, like for Bot businesses nine. we are hand yeah bot nine AI obviously bot nine so yep. I'm I'm working in the like in the f- uh, like invoice uh, scanning system and how you can interact with the invoices so we there are a lot of clients we have from into it so I'm handling the front end and back end a little bit I'm mostly handling the back end Got but it. yeah yeah very cool man That's super interesting uh, projects yeah I would love to know uh, what, uh, I think you already mentioned but yeah do you think there is something specific that stood out that made you you know get in like this. Mm okay so I'm going to tell you that how I d- build okay like most of these people they ask me that how do you build things because also uh, so for my way like when I joined code obviously uh, by the way I met you before like in Bangalore only and I told you the same question that so can I drop out because I'm doing pretty go- good uh, freelancing you say you you suggested me that no like you should not but <laughs> I still yeah. have the photo Oh, really? Nice. Yes. I always say that use the conventional path, but root kudos to you for dropping out. I think it worked out pretty well in your favor. No, big, okay. So the thing is, like, it's a pretty big thing for me that I'm directly talking to you at that time. Like, your photo used to be my wallpaper because, oh, wow. uh, like, I, even I told my wallpaper that you were the guy. Like, like it's like a guru. Like you, you see that as a god. Like who. Taught, taught, taught you everything. It's like this way. So I'm, I'm a very big fan of you. Like if, <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. So for me, like, uh, I, I'm a also like I, I follow Mark Zuckerberg. 
I watched the social network multiple times. Nice. Like before six month, I had a breakup. So I thought, okay, let's, I'm gonna be building the next Facebook. Oh boy! <laughs> so <laughs> that's why you started around, social network. So uh, what what? You said you're starting a social network. Was that the reason you were? Yes, 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 <laughs> exactly. So what happened for the next three point five months? I wasn't uh, going to my classes uh, around mm-hmm. every time, putting my fourteen to sixteen hours every night. I used to be. Uh, like I, I used to be not sleeping and working on the thing. It was like a I I I have zero product idea that what should I build. But I thought okay, let's build something. Mm-hmm. So I I do in a very ad hoc way. So like I watch a very small tutorial about okay. So that's the whole all the like frame structures you need to know. And then I like let's tinker and let's build something as like robotics. Nice. So it was like a sh- social media with posting video posting d- integrated dating system so i uh, built the matching algorithm then there was point system every time uh, there was a gaming like uh, if you post and tag about something you will have a random task from our backend if you complete that you will get points so there is weekly and uh, monthly points section then there was uh, i was adding the video calling section also like a random chat like omegle but then i stopped that in between but it was a lot of things there was communities posting matching d- dating but at the later on i stopped everything i just put that as simple video and image sharing it's already live it's it's scribble.net i have around 200 users got it but, yeah. and do you think this was one of the projects that impressed uh, you know recruiters no uh, no no i think the main thing like he asked me that uh, what did you solved in the thing and Uh, like how did you build so my story was like uh, i i i learned the hono thing from you only the microservice mm-hmm. but eventually for microservice you can't directly connect your database to the thing because it will be it ha- you have to be pulling it from multiple things right Correct. so i was using prisma accession you only taught taught right, taught, right? Yeah. but eventually that was costing me a lot mm-hmm. like really after cool. 60000 hit it was around 15 sorry 15 to 18 dollars i guess the bill was like that Mm -hmm. So then I changed the whole stack to AWS. So like I have to, I have to, I have to reuse the Express uh, rather than Hono, and then I properly set up on my EC2. And for my like my previous startup, for my previous startup Algebe, I got around five thousand dollars from Amazon. Correct. So it was around still like four thousand five hundred I had at that time. So I said, okay, let's use this. I'm not going to be wasting this. I think the video got caught. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so then I uh, use that and I put a EC2 machine and you know like AWS gives you a little bit like uh, in a br- like very base way. So you have to put the proxies and all. You have to yep. put the SSL and all. So I did that and yeah, we uh, and eventually also I was using for for the video and images. I was using Cloudflare only before. Got it. But uh, that also used to cost me around four five hundred a month. Five hundred. It was ten dollar a month. So th- th- then I thought, okay, let's shift. fully to uh, aws then i use properly s3 and cloud front that was the thing so i learned the main thing that okay i am shifting the full one code to one code and whenever previous like before one and 1.5 year i if i have to build something i used to be like go to youtube how to build a blogging website i used to do like this but mm. i have a very like bad thing like i can't focus reading or watching something more than 20 or 30 nice. minutes it's a good thing It's so so then like i was like okay let's build from own so like then that habit got up and now if i have to build something i just put a framework in breaking e section the i have to do this i have to do this and that eventually how you have to how you should do like if, if you are building something which already which is not which does not exist like if larry page have to build google so he won't see anything right because right. at that time there was no google so yeah, exactly. that was the thing this is what's called first principles thinking and it's great yes, that yes. you are yes. doing it that way uh, yeah If you had to pick one project, like just to summarize this answer, that you know got you in, was it the Dukan application that you built a day ago? Was it just your knowledge? Mm, I think it was more of the whole knowledge because knowledge. he m- he just saw the thing for just few seconds, I guess. Got it. He just and asked then, a lot of questions. Yeah, asked right? a lot of questions regarding what my projects are and how do l- how do I actually learn and build things. Got it. That's was he thing. testing your in-depth knowledge of you know? Was he asking question after question after question? Was he grilling you? No, 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 not not really, not really. He was like okay. pretty quick, and he's actually very famous for Twitter hiring. To be honest, like got it. Uh, uh, like before I got the courage to directly hit the office, I okay. saw a post uh, before like around seven days back. Joining uh, the seven days back, like uh, there was a girl. She also got in a front end role. So I thought, okay, I should just try because I'm in Bangalore and I have time. So nice, very yeah. cool. Great, man. This was amazing.